Namaste, everybody. Just about to let everybody in the room. So here we are at another um, live Zoom class from HazelBaldwin.com. And today, in the, all this week, we're going to be making the building blocks for a headstand. So just so you know, that's the first bit. You're ahead of the game. Let's let the people in the room. I kind of like to imagine they're all coming in with their yoga mats and water bottles and stuff like that. They're not. You're all at home. But imagination is the key to most of, most of life, really. Let's admit the more. Good morning, people. Good morning. Hom, hom. Good morning, everybody. Coming in the room. Coming in the room. Aha, I see leggings. I see dogs. I see dogs. It's her. Lou. It's Lou. Hi, Debs. Oh, what my goodness. Lou, are you a police officer now, darling? Give me a thumbs up because you're my... You are, aren't you? You're a cop and I'm a firefighter. Who would have thought that? Who would have thought that all those years ago? Oh, my God. It's you. There you are there. I can see you. I'd have to let everybody else know. Um, just so you know, Lou, I have a screen down here which I see over these little boxes on. Um, and I have to introduce you to, to the yoga class that is here. Oh my gosh. Morning, Debs. Debs is in her conservatory. Debs is next to you in her box. Debs is in the box next to you. People in boxes. People in boxes. We're all in boxes for today. This is what, ah, Cookie's in the house. Cookie's opening the window. Lovely, let the air in. Trudy's inviting the dog in. In comes dog. Come on, beautiful. There's a good lad. There's a good boy. Oh, we've got two dogs. <gasps> Lovely. Sue the scintillator is in the room. Hi, Sue. We've got to catch up on the phone this week. It's silly if we don't. We're in Lisa's house as well. Jesse and Graham the bear. Big love to Jesse and Graham. Annie, where's Annie's? Can't see Annie. Annie must come up as iPad, iPhone. Oh, admit. Oh, oh, Linda's there as well. The Leggetts are in the house. And Linda and there's Jessie. Annie. All the boxes are appearing beautifully. Oh, nice and neat. It's very neat. It's very good. It's very good. You might all turn them off a minute and I'll tell you what we're going to do. Hi, Linda. Morning, Hello. darling. Great lighting. It's like Linda's got a professional lighting crew in her house. She looks fantastic. <laughs> Can you come and do my lighting, darling? No, we just chopped the willow tree down. Fabulous. <laughs> I can notice that. Great it. lighting. Morning, Jessie. Morning, darling. Morning, Jessie. Debbie in the house. Humphrey, let's just check everybody is in the room. Very good, everyone. Uh, Hazel. Very good. And um, if you are trying to talk to me today, it's probably not going to work because I've got a new microphone working and it stops any communication because it's an external road um, directional lavier mic. New mic. New mic. <laughs> Just to give you a giggle before we start the class, a bit of a preamble as per normal. And um, I've had the, the mic working all last week. Well, I, I thought so. No, 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 no. The microphone actually needed its own batteries. It was plugged in, but it wasn't on. We all know that feeling, being plugged in, but not actually turned on. So my expensive flash mic was just a protruding black phallus for the whole of last week. What we like to call in the trade is a bit of a cock-up. Yeah, a bit of a cock-up. Do you see what I've done there? Sandwich that together seamlessly, yeah? So let's check in for a minute. Oh, we've got loads of dogs on. Please bring your pets to yoga. That'd be cool. I'll bring my dog up one day. He, he would just wreck my yoga room. He'd <laughs> just destroy it. Um, another quick one for everybody before we begin. In the box down there, we have got an old, old friend of mine, a, a lady called Lou. I knew Lou in Bansko in Bulgaria. So it's another one of my beautiful Bulgarian friends. Back in the days, you were just party chicks, weren't you, darling? Yeah. 
we, we parted very well indeed. I don't think there was many moments where we were sober in this said ski resort. However, life has changed. She's now a police officer and now I'm a firefighter. It looks like we've grown up, darling. <laughs> Nobody would have known in Harry's bar that was going to happen with that. Mm -mm -mm. We just need one of our old crew to turn into sort of a, a paramedic and we'd have the full trifecta of emergency services, wouldn't we? <laughs> if you like the, the blue light team so uh today's class everybody guess what <laughs> this week we do headstands oh, the mystical headstand of yoga sashasana but the way we're gonna do it is been inspired by all of you i get on my mat i'll get on my mat yeah so because we're doing you're all doing quite a regular um yoga class with me and the idea is this class will lay us throughout the week so if you miss one of the classes make sure you contact and i can send you the zoom link okay um i think the website's going to go live at the end of this week where you can download and keep classes yeah so you'll be able to get a full um five class headstand build up so i'm very excited i was inspired by miss o'brien to do this because the benefits of doing that yoga every day are exponential but we're not doing a headstand today no we're going to start our layering into headstands so to do so it's going to be quite a grounded one on the mat so we're going to work on our hamstrings and our lower back to start off with yeah and i can guarantee we all need some lengthening strengthening and improving in lower back and hamstring so that's the aim of the game today we'll also be working through a little bit of chaturanga practice and some arm balances to strengthen the shoulder girdle so that's how we aim to do that today oh i just saw, I saw a message i saw a message here's a message here's a message coming just checking everybody's in double check yeah, we're good. So no further ado, it's a Monday class. On your backs, lay down, let's begin. So if you've got an animal that's going to intrude, invite them onto the mat with you. Hopefully you can all hear me okay with the new microphone. Okay. So laying down onto the mat. And let's check in with the quality of our spine and our back for the day. Fingertips onto the crest of the hips. Kind of like to think of this in humping the mat a little bit if you'd like to you know, have an analogy. Use your fingers to tilt your pelvis and arch the spine off the mat so you can make a bridge or a gap. Take the fingers, tilt the pelvis in the opposite direction so the pubic bone ends up towards the nose and take a little lift. Little means a millimetre, not an inch. Okay. I've been told that's an inch, not true, and tilt the other way, inhale, fill the belly, exhale, draw the navel in, inhale, tilt, exhale, draw the navel in, so using the hands to instigate a nice rock of the pelvic bowl. And that's just that easy way of starting off movement and breath. It's after the weekend. So as we do this, rocking the boat, you can lift the hips a little bit more, curling. Feel what it feels like on the lower back. Inhale, round the belly, ribs stay soft. Exhale, lift a little. So it's over to you for a good five breaths. Remember, we're going to be breathing only through the nose. Noisy on the exhalation. Smooth on the inhale. Exhale fully. Inhale. Exhale. So just creating waves through the body. Inhale. And then exhale, find yourself in neutral spine. Draw in the right knee and then the left knee. Take your fingertips onto the blade of the shin bone and just wrap them in there. That sort of shin splint spot. 
bring the knees together so the thighs sandwich up and relaxing your tummy muscles draw the knees in towards the chest and feel the lower back and then release and repeat it's a small motion draw the knees in so if you do have an iffy back you'll feel it in that stretch i'm going to come look at the canvas here because it draw the knees in legs are sandwiched together a couple of people need to get back in the room good and feel that lower part of your back draw the knees in i want you to see if you can do it without using your tummy muscles it's the fingertips trudy knows this one well it's a real subtle movement and you'll know if you've got any pulls in your lower back because you'll get an intake of breath there's a, a tenderness that comes out. So this is our lower back check. Okay, in the sweetest way possible, I'd like you to walk up to seated. Lovely. What a sweet way to do it. And then bring the thighs together. So this is all lower back checks. Take the hands behind, just lean on back. Legs are still sandwiched together. And we're going to drop them over to the right. Just stack the feet. Press the hip up towards the sky and lean the heart up. And this, you'll feel your lower back. You'll feel whether the muscles are good or not good. Back to the center. Take them over to the other side. Lean the hip up. Press the heart to the sky and ease into the lower back. Bring it back to center. Slide the legs a little further down the mat. We've got a half bend here, almost a simple right angle underneath the knee. Same position and again, drop the knees over to the right and lean into it. So it's sort of working through the vertebra of the lumbar spine. Inhale, centre. Exhale to the other side. You're going to have to keep a bit of a grip in the feet to keep the legs together. Because the sandwich will stack the hips. Okay, slide the legs away. Now we're to draw the navel in towards the spine. If you can, turn the fingertips towards you. I want it quite light on the hands. Good. And then just a little turn and look over the right shoulder. Inhale, lift heart, squeeze thighs, open chest, arch spine. Exhale, rock back, creating a C position in the body, and look over the left. Use the hands, inhale, press up. Exhale, take the hands to prayer in front of your chest. Shoulders down and away, they'll naturally hunker. Ease yourself down to a point where you think, hey girl, I'm going to tip if I go any further. That's quite enough for me. Take both hands around to the right side of your mat and look to the top right corner of your mat i want you to feel that lump of spine the gaze is down the distri is to your right fingertips inhale or sit all the way back up maybe and reach towards the sky inviting in your monday vibes a week of headstands mm -hmm. yeah <clears throat> and c position of the spine hands to the left side Look to the left corner of your mat. Keep the legs sandwiched nicely together. Inhale, raise up towards the sky. Exhale, draw the hands into fist by the side of the body, chin to chest. Bringing in the royal lock as we do this. Inhale, reach the fingertips towards the sky. So you should feel the stretch of the hamstring at the beginning. I love it to see all your hands come up. Hands to fist, squeeze out the air, get rid of the stagnant air from being asleep, chin to chest. Inhale, let them towards the sky. Three more. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Fist of fire, but not too fire, a bit smouldering. Exhale, draw in. Inhale, relax and fold forward for a moment. And feel the lower back arch. Let the head hang.
and then I resurrect the spine coming all the way back up. Bend the knees, shoulders and feet fit the edges of your mat. So I want you to actually feel the edge of your mat with your feet. Too close, not going to work. Same positioning, fingers behind, shoulders drawing back as if you squeeze the ping pong ball or you'd like to send your erect nipples to the moon. Take both knees over to the right, flex the feet, taking two nice white angles and then twist the gaze over to the left. Inhale centre and exhale. Knees left, eyes right. You're on the Juilliard blue. Eyes right, inhale centre. And to the other side. So over you go, a couple of rock and rolls into the hips. It's Monday, it's a gentle class. Let's not shake or shudder the body. We've got Friday for the big one. And uh, back to centre. Bring the legs in. Let's go back down to the mat and check in with the hamstrings. Okay? So as we roll down, it's Monday. I'm not going to fat and make you do it three times. Take the right leg up towards the sky. Slide the hands behind the back of the thigh. Good. Draw the hands up the leg till you feel the hamstring sing a higher note. Flex the foot and then take some rotations in the ankle. I'm hoping because you're all at home a lot more, you're barefooting, yeah? I hope your feet are free and easy at home. What a wonderful bonus that is. Press the heel up towards the sky. Draw the leg in on the exhale. Inhale, press the heel away. Exhale, draw the thigh towards you. Inhale. Exhale, third one's always a dream. And then bend the knee and take the knee towards the right armpit. Take the hand on the inside of the thigh or the heel of the foot and draw the knee down. Aim towards the armpit. You might find there's a bit of flesh in the corner there of the hips. There is from me. This wine drinking hasn't slowed down yet. The detox didn't start. It didn't have to be, you know. Extend the left leg long so you feel the hip flexor work. For some of you, you may feel that you want to bring the chin in towards the chest and lengthen the opposing leg. We're early on in the week, so don't push your hollow too hard. Head goes back down. Leg stays where it is. Good. And then bend both knees, bring them in towards the chest. Wrap the fingers around the shin bones again. And a couple of sacral lifts. What does she mean by sacral? Sacral is that big chunky bone at the bottom of your spine. That connects your hips to your spine. And we build up a great deal of tension around there. In fact, sometimes it can fuse later on in life. It's not a bit silly, but yeah. Soles of the feet to the mat. Inhale, left leg glides its way up to the sky. Hands behind the back of the thigh. Start at the root of your tree trunk leg. Uh, start at the root. Slide the hands up till you feel the hamstring change notes. Stop there. Inhale. Exhale, draw in on the exhale. Inhale. Draw it a little bit further in on the exhale. Make sure your lumbar spine is flush on the mat. A little bit more on the exhale, draw it in. That's good. Now extending the right leg long. You can take some ankle rotations. That's because I forgot to add that in, but I'm adding it in now. No one noticed. And then if you wish, you can draw the knee down to the side of the body. And maybe raise the head. This will create more extension through the leg. So we're just warming up this great big set of muscles of hamstring. And you're thinking, what's this got to do with headstands? I shall demonstrate for you. Head goes down to the mat, both knees in towards the chest, fingertips around shin bones, sacral lift. Just squeeze the knees into the chest. So we're moving that sacral bone, we're tipping it, just tipping it. 
I know a lot of you have been out there doing gardening and DIY. That is a classic way to pull the spine, gardening and DIY. Classic. Little rock from side to side, maybe circle the knees, if you please. We're going to be taking our normal salutation. So slide your way up onto all fours. Spread the fingers super wide. Okay, we're going to warm up the shoulders before we go into salutation. Take the hands a little bit further forward than where your shoulders are. Arch the spine, tailbone up to the sky, as I like to say, present the derriere, as if there's a message on your buttocks and you would like to demonstrate this to the world. Take your gaze to the top of your mat, so point to the top of the mat with your nose, and then we're going to lower the chest down between the hands. We're just going to lower it down, lower it down, lower it down. Good. Point the toes, top to the feet on the mat. Lift the heart, but not the nose on this point. Rock back. Easy child's pose. Tuck the toes on for good measure. Stretch into the armpits. Inhale into all fours. Spread the fingers. Arch the spine. We repeat. So it's a hard press-up action. We lower the chest down. Make sure your elbows are grazing by the ribs. Point the toes, lift the heart. Okay, let's get into specifics about this mini vinyasa. Roll back. Charles pose. When we come back out of Charles pose, we get kind of a bit serious this week because we're doing headstands. Spread the fingers super wide. Now, focus as we go down into a half chaturanga or Ardha Ashtanga Namaskar, is the root of your first finger. You'll notice as you go down, it's going to gently lift off. I want you to root it back down again. So, arch the spine, mental focus on the base of the first finger, you lower down and you want to keep that first finger in contact with the mat. Not so easy. <laughs> Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, rock that child pose. One more like that. This is to create strength throughout the whole kinetic chain of your arm. Inhale, into all fours, present the buttocks, shoulders go down, away from the ears, lengthen the sides of the neck, low down, nipples between thumbs. Ta-da! Nice. Inhale, lift heart. It'll all make sense in a while. Exhale, child's pose. As we inhale forward, take right leg in between the hands, a little bit of a loosener, please. Inhale, look forward, open the hips, half monkey pose, Ardha Chandrasana. Flick the toes up, lengthen, feel the hamstring. Nice. Repeat. Inhale, forward, heart opening. You can keep right on the fingers. Exhale. Ease back, maybe hands on hips if you want to intensify hamstring well. Inhale, come forward. Good. Step the leg back, nice and easy, child's pose. Okay, half Ashtanga Namaskars. Inhale, arch spine, spread fingers. Run the move now. Nipples between thumbs. Base of first finger connects, keep it slow, keep it slow. Point the toes, inhale, lift the heart, and ripple on back. Did you keep the base of the first finger down? Inhale, all fours, invite, left your leg through, shazam. Good. Take the gaze forward, tip of the nose. Exhale, walk back, half monkey pose, hamstrings. So as you do this three times, over to you. We can't get into a headstand unless we have shoulder strength, otherwise we hurt the neck. Headstands are very strenuous if the hamstrings aren't open and the core isn't activated. Excellent. And that's why headstands at the end of Ashtanga practice. It's one of the finishing poses. Forward. Step the leg back, all fours, child pose, exhale. Inhale on fours, arching the spine into cow. First finger rooted, nipples between thumbs, gaze towards the top of the mat. Good. Release the body down, point the toes. Inhale, peel off the heart. Exhale, child's pose. 
inhale or falls, stepping the right leg through, high on your fingertips, inhale, rock forward, lift the heart. Okay, a little bit of a twist coming. Exhale, walk back, flex the foot. Walk the hands closer. We're going to be stacking on the knees, so if you're in a hard floor at home, get an extra blanket. Don't send the kneecap off the edge. We're going to walk the hands around to the awkward side. So you go all the way over to the right side. This is an awkward posture. It ain't pretty, but I want you to feel the hamstrings intensify. Spread the toes, give me some barbie toes, and just look around. Take the gaze behind, you get a full spinal twist. This is gonna draw the hamstring nice and long. Inhale, walk forward. Exhale, child pose on the way back. Inhale, half kind of press if you thank, we shall call it, and lower down. Go slow. Land carefully on the fun backs. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, rock back to your This is going to be one of the classes where you're not feeling you're doing anything particularly onerous, but you will feel this one tomorrow. I will guarantee it. So step forward. Lefty leg. Half monkey pose. Rock back. Flex the foot. Drag the fingertips with you. Stack and square. Walk the hands over to the left side. It's an awkward twist. Flex your toes. And if you can think about lifting the heart up, it's not going to go far. Mm -mm. But maybe on the last minute, take the gaze all the way behind you. And if you notice that twist in the neck, you feel it more on the hamstring. I'll be feeling connection. Can you see what I'm building up to? Sometimes it actually sounds like I know what I'm doing. Sometimes, not all the time, so. And then step the leg back, child's pose, release lower back, stretch the arms out. Mm -hmm. Inhale into all four spread fingers. Remember, rooting two to the base of first finger. Place the nipples between the thumbs. Elbows, caress the rib cage as we go down. Point the toes, lift heart, shoulders back. Child's pose. Nicely done. Inhale. Onto all fours. Step both feet in between the hands. Forward fold. Hang out the spine to drip dry. So let that hang off the hips. Let's continue to lengthen the hamstrings. Hands on the shin bones. Take the heel of the hands underneath your kneecaps. Press the hands in so they do most of the work and take your heart forward and your shoulders back. Think long out the crown of the head. Stay steady where we are. Gently lift up your lower banda, ruler banda, and then lift the toes. So our connection in this moment is I want you to think of how by lifting the toes you affect your hamstrings. By turning the head, you affect your hamstrings. So we know a headstand is a full body, not just sat on the neck. Plant the toes back onto the mat. For those of you who can spread your toes, do it for me. And imagine I'm, I'm there to touch your toes. <laughs> Exhale, forward fold. Lou, my toe fetish has got a lot worse over the years. I've not found a cure. Inhale, we pull up through the spine, half of a fold, Ardha Uttanasana. Come up a little bit higher than you would expect. So fingertips on shin bone. Yeah, arch the spine, imagine balancing the mango. Balance the mango. Exhale, forward fold, go deeper. Imagine the head, it's got a concrete helmet on and it's drawing you down to the earth. Please shoot glitter out your rectum towards the sky, creating a glitter cloud of joy. Inhale. That analogy works for me. One day I will shoot good to that one bottom. It will be a happy day for me. <laughs> Lift the heart a little bit higher. Now raise the toes. I want you to feel good, strong hamstrings. Zip up through the front line of your body. And as you fold forward, think of going from the very crease of the hips. Send the heart down, the throat, 
and then the crown of the head, and then root the toes and press the crown of the head towards the mat. Perfect. Bend the knees, lead the chest on the thighs, and roll up through your spine. Aha! Wonderful. All that blood has got to get back from the thighs. Shoulders up. Welcome Monday. God, aren't we doing well? Taking the hands to prayer so I can wish you all namaste. Good. Inhale. Take the hands directly up to the sky. Smooth sun salutation. Exhale. Take the golden cord and draw it down to the mat. Inhale. Halfway up. Flat back. Exhale, forward fold, bend the knees so you can plant the fingertips on the mat. Inhale into plank, please go slow. Okay, build up practice. Knees down to the mat, let's stay for a moment. Reroute base of the fingers. This stuff is the important stuff, this is our build up. Tuck the tailbone under and then look towards the top of your mat. Squeeze in the thighs and firm everything into the mat. Press the mat away from you. Hold fire here. Do what you need to build your strength. Some of you, this will be very attainable, okay? But what, if it is attainable for you, I want you to think about lifting your pelvic floor and your navel towards your spine to create inner strength, not external strength. And then, nipples to the mat, people. Nipples go down. All the way down, we're going to take it slow, 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 good point. The toes, forehead on the mat. Inhale, lift up. Tips, teeth and tap. We've got the sun out now. And then child's pose. Aha. Little rotation of the fingers and wrists. Get your phalanges. Inhale, all fours. First dogging of the day. First dogging of the week. Let's dog together. Tuck the toes under, down with dog. Bring the feet forward a little, bend the knees. Let the ribs go near the thighs, heels press down, shoulder blades apart. Rotate the muscles of the face. Oh, I shouldn't do that, I've got a cold, so it's a, probably a good idea. And then, for good measures, step forward till you find the resistance point, okay? Stop there, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up, like we've done before, lift your chest, lift the heart. This time, cactus your arms out and raise the toes simultaneously. Tailbone presses back. Exhale, fold all the way down. Rolling up through your spine, taking time. Okay, for us to achieve our headstands, we're going to do some upper body strengthening now. We've already begun with our half. Chaturangas, hands up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold, follow the prayer down to earth. Inhale, look up for the flat back. Raise the toes, shoulders back. Exhale, forward fold, cascade the spine. Waterfall it down to the mat. Good. Inhale, into plank. Spread the fingers. Knees go down to earth. Good. Bring the inner thighs together. Tuck the tailbone under. And I want you to keep a, a concentration on the inner thighs, mid inner thighs, squeezing them and you'll feel your buttocks lighten up and squeeze. Bring the chest forward, press the fingers in front and build up your strength here. Now I'd like you to Press the mat away from you. Good. And then slowly, take as many breaths as you need. I want you to slowly resist gravity as you go down. Elbows, stay in nice and tight till you lower down, point the toes, forehead on the mat. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, walk back, child's pose. Inhale into all fours, spread the fingers. Now keep the inner thighs together for Ardha Mukhasvanasana with the legs together. Shiva Nandini style. 
knees bent. We're going to do the high toe work again, like last week. Inhale, high on touches, like a prima ballerina. And then bend the knees, thighs towards the ribs, ribs towards thighs. And then press the heels back and send the tailbone high so you feel the calf muscles get involved. Good. Taking your gaze forward. Into a plank position now. If you need to take the feet back, hold fire in plank. Okay, here's where we get a bit of the bonuses coming. Inhale, press the tailbone up towards the sky. Like we did when we're laying flat on the mat. Now tuck the tailbone under and draw into the core. Squeeze the inner thighs. Inhale, tailbone towards the sky. Exhale, draw the tailbone in, squeeze what you got. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Knees down to the mat. Good. Time for the TTs, people. Turn the fingertips towards your knees. Keep the fingers spread and then give the fingers a little wiggle. Good. Wrist relief. Hands back on the mat. Step forward, inhale, look up, flat back, raise toes, elbows out to the side, cactusing the arms, draw the shoulders back. Good. This time, take the hands onto the base of the spine. Soften the knees, ease the shoulders back. In this half forward fold, I want you to be opening the heart towards the floor. Now raise the toes, you feel the hamstrings, and then... Caress the back of the legs. I'd like you to touch yourself up if you don't mind. I'm not there to do it for you. <laughs> slide the hands down the back of the legs. Sliding, 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 sliding. Take the heart, the throat, the head, and take yourself into a very nice deep forward fold. Bend the knees at the last moment and slide the hands underneath the feet. Ta-da! We get a bit of wrist relief here, an old one. Wiggle the toes so they squeeze onto the pad. It's kind of quite sweet because the big toe connects to the thumb pad. It's like those little full meat. Hello. If you wish, you can send the tailbone up towards the sky. Bring the chin in towards the chest and let the neck get long at the back. For more extra depth, you power monkeys, squeeze the front of the thighs. And maybe your glitter rockets will reach the moon. Release the hands. Roll up, nice and steady. Taking time. So we can see intermittently that our practice we're doing sort of a press up series. Draw the shoulders up. Circle them back. Interlink the fingers behind you. Soften the knees as if we were doing moon salutations. Draw the shoulders back. Whatever you do, don't lock the elbows out. If you can, still don't do it. Lengthen the heart towards the sky. Ease the shoulders back. Should feel quite nice. And then we'll take the forward fold. Bend your knees all the way down. And let the arms tip over the top of the head. Now, if you want to intensify, rather than locking the arms, bring the palms together and extend the index finger. As long as there's a softness in the elbows, we release the hands, let them slump down with gravity. It's going to feel nice. Fingers are on the back. Inhale, into plank position. Okay, squeeze the inner thighs together. Send the heart forward, look forward, squeeze in the side, press the first finger down. We hold steady. Stillness. <coughs> We're going to step the right leg. Just step, let it touch the edge of the mat. Tap. And back. Good. Let's do the other side. Tap. And back. Now. Take into consideration, in this moment, you may continue with tap and back, how your body feels. The strength in the shoulders, the strength through the core of the body, okay? This is what it should feel like to be in a headstand. Nothing on the neck, mostly in the arms, 
the rest of the body engaged. Know this feeling, this feeling is your friend. And knees to the mat and lower down. Oh, you're all gonna feel this tomorrow. Inhale all fours. Well then, child's pose people, child's pose. Get in there. Slide that hand into the glove of child's pose. Just glide on in. And if you will, people, let's take a Jesse's prayer. What do I mean by that? Take the hands to prayer and place them on the back nape of the neck. And while you're down there, listen to the sound of your breath. So as you can see from here, we're going to be building up that shoulder strength in a safe way. We're only going straight into headstands at the start of the week and mucking about a bit like that. We're building up our powers when we do go into headstands. We have them so they have integrity, not ego. Anyone can do a headstand with ego and they'll pay for it because the ego always takes its price off you. We're going to have integrity in it. Inhale into all fours. So I'd like you to just pop down onto your side. Like a reclining Vishnu. Hi, glamour pose. I'm feeling my Tulula pert tips coming on. Hi, my name's Tulula. Yeah. I've been living in Malawi with my uh, partner, Jeremy. I'm tandem perfect to my teacher, I used to be a model. Now I do yoga. My name's Tula. Sorry, alter ego. I would like you to take your right arm long and make a pillow for it. And that's going to feel quite nice after what we've done. Knees are bent, so you've got a bit of support. Hand on the hip to begin with. Good. Use this hand to tilt the hip so you feel the inner thighs come together. Place left hand on the mat as a support tripod and extend the legs long. And I would like you to keep pressing the pubic bone forward, up. Good. Squeeze and firm the legs together. From here, press the left hand in and come on to your shoulder. So you've got the building up of this strass and a side plank, okay? Legs are firming. Now quite often we will sink into the shoulder. This is what we're avoiding. So press the mat away from you. The hand can be here for support. Tilt the pelvis, lengthen out the crown of the head, and we're already building up shoulder girdle strength. Fingertips onto the mat, and we're gonna do a couple of lifts and let goes. So inhale, lift the hips. Let go, take it down. Either keep the hands here, or left hand grabs the hips. Breath is our key. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Breath is our key. Flex the feet, maybe hand to the sky. Inhale, swing the hand up, get a little bit of momentum and reach for your sky hooks. We're gonna hold, and we're gonna hope, we're gonna hope and hold, we're gonna flounder, we're gonna flip and flop and flonk, and back down. Oh, thank you very much. For the sake of this video, I'm going to stay on the same side. However, take yourself onto your back and then we release the lower spine. Fingers on shin bones. Aha, nicely done. If we haven't engaged those core and abdominal wall muscles, it will go in the lower back. It will tell us, lift the sacrum up. And then slow legs back down. Now you're going over to the other side, everybody, onto the left side. So, roll well, back onto the side, knees bent. You're on your side, knees are bent. And extend the arm up the mat so you make a nice pillow. Reclining Vishnu. Vishnu is the creator. Oh, someone's cooking toast in my hands. Hand supports, good. Take the hand onto the hips, tilt the pelvis, tilt. They're like one of those 80s videos with leg warmers on, and push, and push, and push. Extend the legs a little, press the hand, come up onto your shoulder. Good, tailbone tucks on. Remember we're going layer by layer. This is gonna build up, by the end of the week, you'll have built a lot of strength. 
extend the legs, flexi in the feet, feel the arches, hand on to start off with, fingertips to support. If you lift that much off the mat, that's going to do. It's the build up you want. So press the elbow in, lengthen, inhale, lift the hips, press and be strong and lower it back down. Lovely. Good. Hand on hip if you wish, or keep hand on floor. Corners go up. Inhale, lift. And lower. I would like you to make sure you're not looking at your feet. Yeah? So you're keeping the crown of the head long from the arch of the feet. And the hand may go to the sky. You can even just wang it up in hope. Why not? Yeah? Inhale, lift. Arm goes up. Breathe in some strength. You may look up if it feels good. Squeeze the inner thighs. Give it use all of your core muscles. And then crash land. Down we go. Arms to the back. Knees in to the chest. Oh, now there's a place we've got to address when I'm doing this. And that is our neck. Knees in towards. Knees in towards. Good. Slide your legs down the mat. A moment of neck release. I'm going to sit up so you can see what I'm talking about. So take your hands behind the back of the neck. Thumbs on the base of the jaw. Okay. You're almost creating a jaw shunt. Lou, I hope you remember this from your Vsus training. Yes. Moving of the jaw forward, Lou. Bring the elbows towards one another and lift the head off the mat. Curl in. Good, very nice. Release the head back on the mat, open the arms like the pages of a book. And bring the elbows in, lift the head off and then take the elbows to the right and look down the right side of the body. Back to centre, release the head on the mat, open the arms. Good. And exhale, bring the elbows together, chin towards the chest. And take the elbows over to the left side and look down the left side of the body. And come back to centre. And open the elbows up. Good. Neck relief done. Right. So everybody, all parts present and correct. Come and meet me on all fours. All right? I'll be waiting for you. Love the manoeuvres. Lovely. What a gorgeous bunch you are. You know? I could be unlucky, you could be all a right bunch of munters, but you're quite gorgeous. Oh, you've got a good, good outer casing for your soul. Well done, keep it up. So, let's just prepare the mind. Let us go through some of the simple parts without doing any stress on our body so we can start connecting up the dots. Come on to all fours. Now, I'm not there to slap your bottoms or bite you if you do anything incorrect, all right? So you'll have to virtually imagine me physically abusing you. Make sure the hands are directly underneath the shoulders. Now, put your elbows where your hands are. One elbow down, the other elbow down. Hands are parallel to make an 11. Good. Spread the fingers, root the base of the first finger in. Extend the right leg behind you. Go long. We've got a plank position. Extend the left leg behind you. Hover and then knees down. Good. Tuck the tailbone under. Toes are tucked under. Now from this position already, you should feel the outer edges of your shoulders working, your deltoids. Just by holding this. Avoid letting the hands come in or out. We want the forearms to be parallel. On an inhale, we're going to lift the knees. On an exhale, we're going to lower the knees. We're going to go together. Inhale, lift the knees, squeeze the inner thighs. Exhale, lower. Avoid clenching the jaw, everyone. Inhale, lift the knees, squeeze the inner thighs. Exhale, lower. And repeat. Inhale, lift. We're going to exhale and hold. And then we lower back down to the mats. Point the toes into sweet little sphinx. Good. Very nice. 
and then we're going to go back for one more. So tuck the toes under, lift straight up on an inhale, three, two, one, inhale, lift, knees down, walk the knees back in, come to all fours. Little shoulder loosener, just for the sake of it, taking right hand directly underneath the heart, left hand can just swim and open out and just take some movements in your shoulder. Take the knees a little bit wider, so you'll have it go into the back. Swap the arms over, sort of making a, a single arm front crawl stroke, but just ease out the shoulder joint, good. Right, back to all fours. Let's just start planting the seeds so they can germinate by the end of the week. Hands underneath shoulders. Elbows go onto the mat, making our number 11. We check again. So as my father told me, measure twice, cut once. Father was a carpenter. We measure again. The hands should just be able to wrap around the biceps, okay? Let's not hurry this. If you're gonna do your headstand after you finish today, you are in your own time. Release the hands, interlink the fingers. Turn the palms into a little bowl with the thumbs up. There, okay, we've got it. Thumbs are up, palms are apart. Outer edge of your wrist is in contact with the mat. Good, right. Now, we walk the knees back, just a soup song, just a soup song, okay? And then we walk a little further. We tuck the toes under, inhale into forearm plank. Exhale, lower the knees down. Repeat. Squeeze, inhale. Exhale. Bonus manoeuvre. Squeeze the body off, forearm plank, and then look over the top of the fingers. Look over the top of the fingers. Good. And we are down. Mm hmm Take the forehead to the mat, interlink the fingers behind you, shell on blast, and then draw the shoulders back. Gonna feel good. Lift the heart, but not the head. Lift the heart, but not the head. And the legs, and squeezy, make squeezy. Good. Hands come back down onto the mat. Inhale, all fours, and child pose. So by now, you should feel a nice, subtle aching in the shoulders, a nice, but you know you've done something in that shoulder area. So from here, we're now going to go into relaxation. Okay, the neck release is going to go first. Grab your blanket as you get there. Lay yourself down onto the mat. Knees are bent, soles of the feet. Inhale, take the arms up to the sky. And then wrap the arms out. It's time for self-hugging. Bit of Kenny Everett's fingers wrap around the shoulder blades. Soles of the feet in. Tuck the tailbone under, lower spine flush to the mat. And then bring chin in towards the arms and just lift up the upper body, feel the core work. Release it back down. Inhale, hands up to the sky. Rotate your wingers. Your fingers and your wings. We were albatross and eagles all last week. That was lovely. And then wrap the arms over again the opposite way. In for the hug. Chin in towards chest and then lift on up. And release back down. Take the hands back up to the sky. Rotate. Rub your shoulder blades on the mat like Baloo the bear on a prickly tree because he's the king of the jungle, a jungle VIP. Take the hands behind the back of the neck and palpitate the neck. It's a nice word again, isn't it? Palpitate. I palpitated his buttocks with my spatula. <laughs> on my own with that joke, aren't I? Oh, right, fair enough. Massage the back of the neck. Top to the shoulders, ease by them. You can even wrap a hand across and just feel into the back part of your scapula and your shoulder and swap it over. And beautiful, stunning people globally, where we've come from in the world today. Special big up for Lou in the house. 
and oh, that's a good idea. And copy Lisa, I've just seen it. Instinct the fingers and stretch the arms behind you. Press the palms. What a great idea, Lisa. Press the palms away from you. That's marvellous. Good stretch, good stretch. And lengthen. Maybe lengthen the legs as well, everyone. Lengthen out. Big single piece of spaghetti length. Oh, yeah. And then bring the arms back over. And it is time for Shavasana. Good stretch at the end, Lisa. I'm keeping that one. That works well. Mm, mm, I like it. Oh, I'm tucking you in. I'm going to come around and just tuck it around at the bottom of your feet. Just so I can touch your feet, Normie. That's why I do that to people. It's just a, an excuse for some foot fondling. Nice. Settled we are. Close your eyes if you haven't already and feel them becoming heavy. Just before we go into Shivasana, I found a quote today I really liked. At the centre of your being, you have the answers. You know who you are, and you know what you want. That adds a bit of depth to our practice, doesn't it? You actually know, don't you? What stops us from doing this? You see how this links in there? What stops us from saying what we really want, being who we really want to be, is fear. Fear is the opposing energy to love. Our whole planet is in a state of fear at the moment. So this leads me to explain why we're taking headstands this week. Because as always, as you lay here in your body and mind are receptive, hopefully your mind will go into alpha brain waves as you start to concentrate on your exhale. Allow the inhale to be natural. And the exhale to surrender you in and calm the system. We're doing our headstands this week so we can face fears on our yoga mat. A yoga mat is almost a playpen for the ego. the subconscious, the id and the ego. And if we can play out some of the challenges and some of the fears like turning upside down, because sometimes when we turn things upside down, they just look better that way. The world has turned on its head with fear, so this week we're going to stand on our heads and play with that level of fear, because the only thing to fear is fear itself. Start to lengthen the exhalations a little more and allow my words just to become sounds. No significance to the words I say at all. Just, just the sounds. Deepen the exhalation even further. Tune into the sounds in your own household. Allow those sounds to be as innocuous and as unheard as my voice, just a happening of sounds. Deepen 
deep in the exhalation a little further. Allow the body to slow and settle. The goal of yoga is not the handstand. The yoga pose is not the goal. Becoming flexible is not the goal. Standing on your hands is not the goal. The goal is to create space where you were once stuck to unveil the layers of protection you've built around your heart. To appreciate your body and become aware of your mind and the noise it creates. To make peace with who you are. The goal is to love. Well, you. Come to your yoga mat this week to feel, not to accomplish. Shift your focus and your heart will grow. And finally in your mind, before I leave you in Shavasana today, maybe you could playfully visualize yourself just achieving a headstand with absolute ease, with controlled strength, with smooth breath, visualizing a lightness in your body and a strength in your being. And if you imagine it, eventually you'll become it. So for this Monday's practice, I leave you in Shavasana today and all I implore you to do is take at least five more breaths with full deep exhalation, possibly the most important breaths you'll take on a Monday morning at the start of your week, setting yourself up to receive all that is good and right for you. All of my love. Peace, love, and light from my heart to yours. Mwah. Five more breaths. I'll see you tomorrow.